Hello, people of YouTube. It's I once again the Great James, and the impossible has been made possible. Clearly, yeah. I'm as I'm sure a lot of you know by now. The new band list is out, and I'm going to do a blind reaction to it. Well, sort of blind reaction, as I know a certain one card that has been taken off the band list, but it's only that one card, so the rest is news to me. So you know, at least we got that. <laughs> I guess this is from all the harassment on Twitter that everyone's been giving, considering lately Konami had been getting hounded in their Twitter comments section, or whatever it's called there, with constant in in things about, like, where's the ban list, where's the ban list, where's the ban list? So maybe if I contribute to it, I don't know, maybe they would have uploaded this time, but I like to think that they weren't going to upload it anyway. But anyway, now we're stalling, so let's get to the first c few cards of the ban list. First, ban. Samsara Lotus. I don't fully understand why, but I guess there was some sort of OTK with it, and plus it does have a constant reviving effect, so okay, fair game, that makes sense to me. If that's the case, you know, fair game, because Samsara Lotus was pretty shit everywhere else, but you know. Next, ooh, we have the first Link monster ever banned, and it's not Firewall, Nightmare Goblin. I believe that's the either I think that's either the card popper or the drawer, but yeah, I nightmare is the first banned link monster. Fuck you people who want firewall banned. It ain't getting on it ain't getting off the limited list. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Next for the Xyz, clearly, MX Saver Invoker. Because it just keeps bringing out new monsters that can go into link material, so I think they're just trying to stop more, you know, OTKs and link spamming. So that makes sense to me. No new fusions and no new synchros and constructs still there. So, yeah. <laughs> Make of that what you will. Although no pendulums, although I guess that would go... No, right. Mm. Would the pendulums be the same? Mm. I don't know. Either way. No, the, prefer the pendulums are still the effect monsters. Right? Okay. Uh, let's see. No new limited spells. And no... No limited... No new, tr new spells and no new traps. So, those are fine. So, let's just go into the effect monsters. And the first one limited is a Assault Core. Huh. No. Okay, then. Fair game. Whatever, I can work around this. It's next. The meme of the ban list. It's main guy is free. E-hero Stratos is limited. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. And a jar has come off the ban list, everyone. Morphing jar, specifically. That could be dangerous, but then again, flip monsters aren't as powerful as they used to be, but then again, it's a jar, so it's kind of hard to be be that risky with it. Surprised right, that morphing jar number two, considering that would have gotten rid of some firewall possibilities. That could have been more useful, at least by my account, but who knows. There's a, let's see, no new... No, ri no rituals, no fusions. There is a link. Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. Because that thing is very brutal. There is some brutal effects with that thing, so I think limiting it makes the most amount of sense. Yeah. Cyframe Lord Omega has been in land. Has been limited at land. What's a land? <laughs> Cyframe Lord Omega. Limited. Which is very good considering no one likes dealing with Omega, so. At least there's two less to worry about now. An Evil Swarm Exciton Knight, or as I've heard it pronounced, Extinction Knight, because he makes the field go extinct. Now, granted, one could argue the fact that it do one could argue the fact that this is very brutal, considering when it was in its prime, it was a field nuker. I say, in the day where is where everything's extra linking each other, we need more field nukers. So, fuck you. I think we need this. Plus, let's face it, if you can't beat over 1,900 attack points, you shouldn't be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let's see, spells. A hero lives, limited, most likely because... Fuck mass change, <laughs> but no. Because you can just get out a free hero monster from your deck for the mere cost of half your life points. Yes, mere cost of half your life points, but to go to a free firewall, it is mere. Next, Chain Destruction is back from Forbidden. Okay. No, wait. Card destruction. I'm sorry. Not change. They're going to be like, chain destruction was never limited. be like, card destruction is back. Ugh. We just want to bring back empty jar, don't we? What are you going to do next? Cyber jar, morphing jar number two. Fiber jar. God forbid. Oi, oi, oi. The possibilities are never ending. Ugh. 
god, we got car destruction back in Yugi. Oh, jeez. Sky Striker Mecha Hornet Drones. I don't have much of an opinion with this because I never really fought many of the, the Sky Strikers, but, you know, you know, I've heard bad stories about Hornet Drones, how they get free token and all that jazz, and then now with only the cost of the main monster zone. So, you know what? I get why it's limited now. So, you know, I don't disagree with that thing. I've heard horror stories. It deserves to be limited. Next, Super Poly is limited. The last card to be limited is the one that says, okay, I'll just take your monster and use it as fusion material, and no, you can't even chain to it. <laughs> to be fair, fusion decks aren't as powerful as they used to be, considering Shadows just straight up aren't a thing anymore, considering Construct didn't get off the ban list, so, you know, they have a new Construct Link monster, but you don't use Shadows for Link summoning. You can, doesn't mean you should. And you know what? I'm interested to see where Super Poly would go. <laughs> Absolute zero turbo builds. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, next. Semi-limited. Cosmo Dark Destroyer, because Cosmos aren't doing anything. <laughs> Why not? Let them have Dark Destroyer back. They're not as powerful as they used to be anyway. Let's see. Next. Uh, called by the Grave. <laughs> Konami! What the fuck? You take, you let us keep the Ghost Ogre, the Droll and Lockbird, the frickin' in, in Ash Blossom, all the frickin' hand trap cards ever, including the Twix Star OTK thing where they just banter and tear and say, fuck you, Droll and Lockbird reincarnation. You let us keep those at three, but no, you're not allowed to have a counter to our hand traps. <laughs> fuck you, just fuck you. That ain't cool, dude. Also, Scapegoat did not get hit, so we're going to be seeing more of those. Then again, they did print out a new TTG exclusive token monster, so yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> they want their money. Okay. Limiter removal is at two. That is interesting. Very interesting. Because limiter removal is one of those cards that you always see being at one, so it's kind of weird seeing it at two now. Seems kind of risky, the fact that they've promote another OTK style card like that, because I know beatdown is as far as it used to be, but let's face it, if you can go for a one turn kill, you're going for a one turn kill. <laughs> it's just gonna, this will be interesting. Oh wait, no, scapegoat is at two. Okay, it doesn't really do much, but I guess there's one less to worry about. Eh? It kind of hurt it, you know? Mm. Now you don't have to deal with three firewalls, now you have to deal with two firewalls. Konami, you have so much sh protection for us. <laughs> Terraforming at two, because they hit the Ancient Fairy Dragon, they might as well hit the other searcher. Where's Metaverse? Oh wait, it's a trap card, so no one plays it by default. <laughs> oh well. Oh. Terra field spells are a lot more dangerous than they used to be, so yeah. Though the only thing I'm concerned about is the A Assault Core being limited because <laughs> let's just say something involving Ragnarok 3. But I have a little scripting way around that, so don't worry, I'm not gonna have to completely restart episode 3 or any of that jazz. I have a way around that ruling. So next. Next now we have no longer on the ban list. Apoquil Fort Towers, because it is not doing anything. <laughs> it's there, but it's not a threat, so it, they can have a three. This commander, they arrived it so it's once per duel and you can't use its effect constantly. It, it, okay, when I did the Aster versus Jack duel, I said it was shit. And to be fair, I think I was kind of more misremembering how the card works. But the point of the the point of the matter is, it's not as powerful as it used to be. Granted, its old form was broken as fuck, so any arrived to it was much needed. But at the same time, just like it ain't as good as it used to be. So you know. That's just one of those things. But this commander's at three. Will Destiny Hero players play it? Maybe. The Pot of Greed isn't a bad card. I could see it maybe run at one or on the side deck. Maybe. You know. You never know. We have. We get to keep Monster aboard. And we have Call the Haunted. Call, call, call the Haunted. Uh, Freaking uh, Back to the Front. All these. Soul Charge. All these revival cards in the game. Maybe this commander could see it at one. At least in the side deck. You never know. I mean. People could at least consider it. I mean, Celestial's better, but this commander ain't terrible. Maybe. Anyway, Burial from River Dimension, because it is not doing anything. <laughs> why not let it go? Why not let it go to uh, three? It's not doing anything anyway. No one's playing it. 
Might as well let it go to three. It's not dangerous. And finally, the truck card, Ring of Destruction. Because it's been a ride to hell, and plus, let's face it, not too long ago, they did a re they did release that uh, Kaiba structure, the, the, not Kaiba structure deck, uh, Legendary Collection Kaiba, so maybe that has something to do with it. Granted, that was like almost a year ago, so probably not, but it, maybe it was in the back of their mind. You know, is it likely? No, but I can't help but think there's a part of me that says that could have something to do with it, but then again, they did give a reprint of the Loop of Destruction that also counts as Ring of Destruction, so, eh, maybe I'm just being fantasizing. But anyway, that's it for the main list, everyone. Let's go over the full thing again from the top. <coughs> Band, Samsara Lotus, Nightmare Goblin, MX Saber Invoker. That's it for the band. Limited, A Assault Core. Or, um, Elemental Hero Stratos. Hallelujah, says every hero player, and then realize they lose a hero lives. <laughs> the Morphing Jar. Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. He gets to stay up there with Firewall. Side Frame Lord Omega Limited. A hero lives. Oh, wait. Evil Swarm Exciton Knight. It Card Destruction. Sky Striker Mecha. Hornet Thrones. Super Poly. I, sorry, I fucked it up and put my other finger on there. Oh, good. I wasn't that far away anyway. Hey, li that's it for the limited, semi-limited Cosmo Dark Destroyer, called by the Grave, Limiter Removal, Scapegoat Terraforming, and the unlimited cards: Apoquil Fort Towers, Disc Commander, Barrel of Another Dimension, and Ring of Destruction. We have finally gotten our ban list, and it does not seem too bad. Some of these things really caught me off guard, being the fact that you're just like, okay, so you let us have all these hand traps at three, but then you take away our counter to the hand traps. It's kind of a fuck you. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like that was a bit of a, eh, bitch. <laughs> you know? I mean, it does shut down, like, every card in the that was discarded by the graveyard, so it could be, like, discard basically anything that's in the graveyard. But at the same time, just like, that was our one out to hand traps, and you took it away from us. Fuck you. Just one of those things, you know. But anyway, this band list seems really good, all things you can think about. I'm just surprised by all the takeoffs. Like, yeah, limited removal to two, super poly to one, morphing jar, card trick, just like, what? what? <laughs> We're not. I, 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 I kind of theorized that there was a part of this, like, maybe Konami was rushed by all the Twitter comments and just being like, maybe half this list was half baked. But who knows? Maybe these things were a threat. But the only the most interesting thing is Goki's One Worlds. And they didn't get hit. The Nightmare got hit. But Gokis themselves did not get hit. That's interesting. Although I would have fucking died laughing if Neo Spaceship Aqua Dolphin was on this list. He was like, ha 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 you know, it was just semi limited I would have just died laughing. But they just printed Nebula and Neo. So they're not going to hit Neo Spaceship just yet. Ay, ay, ay. They were just, fuck. Uh, oh well. We finally got our ban list. Was it worth it? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. See ya!